Bum, 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 bum. Just uh, give me the sign. Thank you for this holy space where we can hear your voice, 
where we share a common faith in you, where we fulfill the needs and dreams of our shared community, and in this world you wonderfully created. Lord, in this holy home, we've experienced joy, we've experienced sadness, we've experienced sorrow, and we've experienced hope. This holy home is where loved ones have married, were baptized, were confirmed, and left their lasting legacy. Lord, bless this, our house, as we continue to provide a spiritual home to our members and to the folks from our local community and beyond. And all God's people said, Amen. From Genesis 28, Jacob left Bathsheba and went down to Haran, and he came to a certain place and stayed there for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place. And he dreamed that there was a ladder set up on the earth, the top of it reaching to heaven. And the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And the Lord stood beside him and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie, I will give to you and to your offspring. And your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth. And you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. And all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And you and your offspring know that I am with you. And I will keep you wherever you go. And you will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Then Jacob woke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is Go ahead, cut the cake. Cut the cake. Here we go. They were they were Yeah, they were they were All right, ladies, it's all yours there. the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. So Jacob rose early in the morning, and he took the stone that he had put under his head, and he set it up for a pillar and poured oil on top of it. He called that place Bethel, but the name of the city was loose at the place. And then Jacob made a vow, saying, If God will be with me, and will keep me in this way that I go, and I will give my bread to eat and clothing to wear, so I will come again to my father's house in peace. And the Lord shall be my God. And this stone which I have set up for a pillar 
shall be God's house. And of all they give you, I will surely give one tenth to you. I invite you to join with me in your bulletins for a responsive expression of our community. Please note there are different voices that appear in this responsive reading. Let us respond aloud. In the name of God, the Creator, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We gather to break this ground and commit ourselves to the building of a house of the Lord for worship, praise, prayer, fellowship, and the study of God's Word. We gather to celebrate the vision provided to members of our congregation and listening so we can be guided into this future. We thank God for this marvelous day and this community as we love each other and commit ourselves to God. Thank you, Lord. As we stand on this sacred ground, we express our gratitude that we are part of the larger church in the world, and we, by expanding our facilities and our vision, purposely bear witness to our faith within this community to share that faith, to provide a church home for all who would enter these doors and honor to you who will carry the Lord of all. For the spiritual opportunity of sharing resources and prayers, and for the ability to share ourselves, thus contributing to the life of this faithful body of believers. We express our gratitude to you, O Lord. We affirm today our continued interest in this welcome all building project and the spiritual growth which will be provided to all people. Thank you, Lord. The Board of Stewards. Congregational Church and to Jesus Christ to recognize that means a strong commitment to the works and ministry of our congregation. <clears throat> if you'll join me in prayer. Holy God, we thank you for this day, for the hopes and dreams that you delivered us as we broke ground to expand our place of worship for you. Lord, as we stand before you and break ground this morning, we pray that you have heard our promises as we dedicate ourselves to you and your service. And Lord, bless us and bless our ministries as once again, I repeat the words your good and faithful servant, Reverend Charles Shy, prayed on November 14, 1948, when he and the congregation first broke the very first shovel into the sod for the first time. Lord, we desire to place ourselves in what we are about to undertake in thy hands. Guide, direct, and prosper us, we beseech thee. And if thou seest that this undertaking will be for thy glory, grant us good success. Make us and those who act with us feel that unless thy blessing is with us, we cannot succeed. And that except the Lord build a house, their labor is but lost and build it. Guide us then, O Lord, in this and all our doings with thy most gracious favor. 
and further us in with thy continual help. May all our works begun, continued, and ended in thee. May we glorify thy name through Jesus Christ. And God, we once again pray for your blessing upon this project as we repeat the words of your Son, praying our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So at this time, I will break the first part of ground, breaking through the sod, and then each of you are invited to come forward to either tap at the ground, dig up a piece of the earth, or just pose for a photo, your option. But as you do this, we shall sing the wonderful hymn, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Thank you. 